Hey everyone, this is me, Time Liar G, and welcome to... It's just, I don't like making update videos, and I don't like calling it an update video, but that's kind of what it is, I guess. I just thought I would relax and talk about my life a bit. Uh, I don't know if the audio is actually working, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I know the webcam is a little bit off, but uh, <laughs> that's, that's just what you're going to get, so... Uh, first off, I wanted to talk about Crescent Quest a little bit, because there has been a lot of people downloading Crescent Quest. Uh, it, it's actually over 10,000 now, which I, I didn't expect that when I made the game free to play. I didn't expect that many people to actually just, you know, start downloading it. Um, not, not playing it, but just downloading it, because there hasn't been that many uh, people actually playing it yet. But that is a lot of downloads, and I, I really appreciate that. I haven't played, the, you know, Sonic Adventure in a little bit now. Uh, it hasn't been that long since I last played it, but... Uh, yeah, so, anyway. Just thought I would, uh, you know, mess around a little bit, talk about what I've been doing. Uh, a lot of my time has been in RuneScape, because I'm trying to max on OSRS on my Iron Man. My X-Hardcore that I lost to Serene after the, uh, you know, they just, the, the disconnect. It wasn't Jagex's servers, it was, you know, my internet service provider. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, what I've been doing is just playing OSRS, trying to max, uh, working on Crescent Quest a lot because of the new players coming in. Uh, I've had a lot more motivation to work on Crescent Quest recently because, you know, it's just, um, I have this issue where just with all this AI stuff going on it kind of demotivates me a little bit to actually work on anything and that that's not even just for Crescent Quest that's for anything like it, it just demotivates me it's like when you see someone botting in old school but yeah I kind of get demotivated when I see people using AI stuff uh, even though it like it's really bad and it will never come close to being like a real thing that's you know I've argued with people before about the AI stuff. Uh, there's some people that you just, you can't argue with them. Um, they'll keep saying that they created something when they didn't. And there's nothing you can do about it. So, you know, I just take pride in, um, you know, that everything I create is made by me. And I'll just not worry about people using fake methods to actually do stuff. But uh, aside from Crescent Quest, there's going to be another update to Night Dirge, and then I'm just going to let it sit for a long time. Uh, unless there's actually other bugs found and whatnot. So, but yeah. So, uh, Night Dirge update is going to be coming out around December. And the next Crescent Quest update is going to be late November. So, oh yeah, I should probably mention the date. Let me check the date, actually. It's November 16th. Aside from Crescent Quest and Night Dirge, the other project I'm working on... Well, I'm working on a few projects, but the, the main one I'm focusing on is... Uh, I, I don't know if I should give the name out yet, but it's it's a prototype name, so I guess it's fine. Uh, it's just called Emerald Antlers, and uh, I, I don't know how, mu how much detail I should give on it. It's just me working on it like I, you know... It's only me working on my other games as well. Um, yeah, recently I've felt more comfortable with letting other people uh, work on a few things. So, you know, for the next Christmas update for Crescent Quest, uh, my one friend Buddy is working on some of the sprites and textures. Uh, not not a whole lot, because like I said, <laughs> even my close friends and whatnot, um, I don't like anybody else, you know, touching my vision of what the game should be. And everything but I, I've become more comfortable with that so a few things and I'm gonna always list what they've worked on and what they did so that everybody knows and everything like they'll know what I've touched on the game and what my friends have touched on the game so that's how that's gonna work and uh, yeah what else what else is there to talk about that uh, that other game I'm working on it's um you know it, it does have have online features in it, which I, I honestly, I think I'm just going to turn into a single player game at this point because it's just, like, I, I'm not too familiar with coding. That's why I use RPG Maker and whatnot. Uh, I, I can do a little bit, but, you know, it's 
really not much. But, uh, yeah. Um, what else is there? I've been uh, drawing a whole lot more. I've been focusing on drawing art, both uh, digital art and, you know, just like with pencil. Just uh, I, I sometimes stream myself drawing with uh, just like pencil and paper and everything. Uh, so people can see how I make stuff. But yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot more Honey the Cat art. But that's, that's another thing. Uh, I've been working on making uh, cosplays for myself. I wanted to cosplay as Honey the Cat for a long time now. So that's what I'm also going to be doing. <laughs> um, so cosplay art, the games. Uh, oh, yeah, you know, streaming and stuff like that. I'm just going to be streaming RuneScape for the most part. Um, some RS2 stuff that's separate from OSRS. Uh, what else is there? I have to finish my Pokemon uh, Shining Pearl playthrough that I started, which, you know, I, I, I'm i focusing on my, my personal... Uh, I started playing through Platinum again. I usually do this every, like, year and a half. I just sit down and play through Platinum again. Um... I'm playing the Japanese version this time. Decided to uh, order a bunch of the Japanese copies of the games and play through those. You know, maybe see some some different stuff in them. Because I, I got kind of bored of the English versions. Uh, not, not that bored, but with my Shining Pearl playthrough, I also wanted to do a uh, Colosseum one. Because it's been a long time since I played Colosseum or XD. Uh, maybe I'll do both of those sometime. I'm not really too sure. I kind of watch what I'm streaming now, because, well, you know, it's Nintendo. Uh, partially Nintendo. It's, it, it is Nintendo, I mean, you know. Uh, I don't want to get my channel taken down just because I, I like playing Pokemon. That would be ridiculous. But, uh, aside from that, uh, let, let's talk about other kind of bands and, like, you know, strikes or just just anything like that because I wanted to stream Team Fortress 2 right but Valve banned my entire Steam profile for two weeks for supposedly like quote-unquote harassment against another player and whatnot in the game and like besides the fact it's a virtual video game you have achievements in there called barbecue I think it's like a pyro achievement where you're supposed to make the player rage quit the server uh, after dominating them. So you have achievements like that in there, and the, the achievement icon is a tissue box. So these are clearly new employees that join this company, you know, left-wing employees that are just banning you for no reason. And by the way, I don't want to mention names or anything. I guess I'm not going to mention the name. But, like, I, I know who is going around doing this, and it's the same person that is also banning bots on the TF2 team as well. Again, uh, don't harass anyone. Do not engage with anyone I'm speaking about. Just let let it go. Just, you know, don't mess with anybody. I just figured I would give that disclaimer there. But, um, yeah, it's just ridiculous nowadays. And it, it is fixing itself very fast after this uh, recent election. Because, uh, you know, I was talking about RuneScape before. Let's talk about RuneScape. I was expecting my account to be banned for the things I'm saying on Twitter, because Mod Kieran said he would ban players for that. Mod Kieran was saying that he would ban players for their speech outside of the game itself, which is the most ridiculous communist thing I've ever seen. Uh, you know, I, I kind of need to, to think for a second. So Mod Kieran was saying that kind of stuff, and you have Mod Ash uh, being smug and insulting people for arguing against this, like, neo-gender, neo-leftist, like ideology being put in my childhood game that I played in 2006. Uh, well, you know, I started playing in very late 2005. I always I always say 06, you know, as, as you know, because I, I basically just started in... I, I would say I started in 2006. I barely played it in 05. But, you know, th this is our childhood game. There's people that have played since 2001. And, you know, you're adding stuff that never existed before. Uh, you can go on Google Trends and you can type in, like, she slash her or they slash them. And it just... Go from 2004 to 2024. It did not exist before. None of this stuff did. And you're trying to shove it in these video games. And these leftists appeared around 2013 or so. And they're infiltrating these game companies. Uh, they're infiltrating our communities. Like, uh, for example, the furry communities I'm a part of, they try to infiltrate those. 
and everybody thinks furries are bad now and the the media is shining spotlights on us trying to get more normies to join our stuff to just ruin our culture more um and this this goes for any kind of hobby sexuality they're all pretending to be one of us um no matter what group you're a part of and everybody's calling out these leftists now this election has been amazing it really has um, you know, I, I, I thought my RuneScape account would be banned by now because of the, uh, the developers that are now working at this place. There is just this, there was just this leftist posting themselves on X Twitter where it was showing him in a gay pride shirt working at Jagex and he had a, like a rubber, li like this rubber furry mask. It's not even a fursuit. He just had this rubber mask on and he's, he's trying to like make himself feel special by adding all this like stuff to his bio, like how many flags that the media told him to put there, like the Ukraine flag, the Palestinian flag, uh, a whole bunch of different stuff regarding his mental health in the description, like the bio, um, what, whatever communities he's a part of. Uh, and he's, he's trying to like be all these different things to try to stand out and feel special and whatnot. And these are the people that are adding all this stuff to, to our favorite video games. Because I, I guess, you know, the company didn't gatekeep enough. And everybody should have been gatekeeping harder, pretty much. So, yeah, no, I, I expected my account to be banned. Maybe it will be. I don't know. Um, I don't know what they would put in the ban message. They would probably, they're probably just going to accuse me of something. Like real world trading or something. I, I've seen Iron Man get banned for that, which is hilarious. Uh, I guess it's possible, but... I, I don't know. Uh, aside from that, it, it's just something I wanted to talk about. All the J-Mods went and they uh, they left Twitter X right after the election. Like, it was either the same day or the day after. And it's such a pathetic act. They're like, we're all going to move to Discord now. Because I, I guess our ideology is fading, so we have to run somewhere else. Uh, let's just go to Discord. And they remove their faces from their avatars. Like, it just out of shame, I guess. It, it's really weird. It's bizarre. Uh, none of this stuff belongs in our video games, you know. And that's that's that, really. I mean, uh, here, give me a second, guys. I need to pause the game. Uh, yeah, no, what, what I was... I didn't mean to get off track, but what I was talking about before was, uh, you know, I guess there's pretty much no TF2 for me. And by the way, speaking of this, like, pride nonsense that's in RuneScape and all these other video games and stuff, you know, I'm not proud of something I was born as. You know, I'm proud for what I've accomplished in life, thanks to God, Jesus Christ. I'm proud of of, of my husband. I'm proud of, you know, my, my friends. I'm not, I don't have pride in a sexuality. That's not something to be prideful in. It, it really is just ridiculous, though. I don't, um... I kind of got distracted a little bit. I don't know what to actually talk about now, but uh, <laughs> um, no, that's pretty much what I what I just had to say. You know, I'm working on Crescent Quest updates. There's going to be the Christmas event coming out soon. By the way, if Jagex uh, does this out of spite, like they're never going to hear the end of it from me. If they if they turn the Christmas event into the quote unquote Xmas event, like they're they're I, they are going to be listening to me complain to them for so long. It's it's going to be unbelievable. It is going to be absolutely unbelievable. I have a feeling like they would do that out of spite. I'm not sure, not 100%, but I, I kind of get that feeling. Um, but yeah, no more RuneScape progress videos coming soon, like the Road to Max videos. Uh, more Crescent Quest updates. 